Hello and welcome to section 3. In the previous session, we talked about the TensorFlow Machine Learning API and we discussed the end-to-end -end pipeline of building a TensorFlow Machine Learning Model. In this section, we're going to port our machine learning models on Android devices. So in this section, we're going to take a look at optimizing TensorFlow models for mobile processors. Also, building and deploying TensorFlow models on Android. So let's look at TensorFlow image classification on Android. So at first we need to clone the TensorFlow GitHub repository. The TensorFlow GitHub repository contains some very good examples for Android. They also supply some pre-built machine learning models that we can quickly try and test. Later we can edit these examples and use our own custom image recognition models that we have built in the previous section. So let's go ahead and clone the repository. Now while we are cloning the TensorFlow GitHub repository, we can quickly download and install Android Studio. So you can go to developer.android.com slash studio and download the latest version of Android Studio. Now I shall not go into the details of installing Android Studio because the process will be pretty simple and straightforward. So now that we have the TensorFlow GitHub repository cloned and we also have Android Studio downloaded and installed in our system, we can quickly go ahead and open the example Android application. So it will be under TensorFlow examples and let's open the Android project. The project will open up in Android Studio. From the sidebar, expand Gradle scripts. Double click on build.gradle. Now change this particular line and set native build system from Bazel to none. You can now save the project and you also need to click on sync now and Android Studio will sync the Gradle files. Now once synced you can run this project in your Android device. Make sure that you have developer options and USB debugging enabled in your mobile device. Now we can simply hit this run button. Choose your device and click OK. Now Android Studio will install the APK in our Android device and launch the application. Now once the application is loaded on your phone, you can point your camera to anything and see if it can classify the object. So right now, it is classifying my laptop keyboard as computer keyboard. So now that we have successfully built and run our first image recognition model on Android, we can now go ahead and use the same example application to run our custom image recognition model. So in the previous section, we built a custom image recognition model using images of Star Wars characters. So now we can simply copy the .pb and the .txt file for graph and the label and paste these files under TensorFlow examples and row assets. Now again we can open Android Studio. From the sidebar we shall expand Android Java and we shall open classifier activity dot Java. Now in this file we shall change the values of few of the variables. First of all, we need to change the output name. So this is the name of the output node in our graph. For our case, this is 
final underscore result. Now let's expand assets and you can find that you can find that uh, the graph file retrained graph.pb and the labels file retrained labels.txt is already there. So now we can change the name of the model file. And we shall also change the name of the labels file. Now all you need to do is uh, save the project and build it. We shall build and run this project on our Android device. So now if we run the application, it should be able to classify Star Wars characters.